guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about the number one way to get traffic to your blog when you're just starting out and have not built a loyal following on social media platforms yet. This involves doing keyword research for your blog posts and SEO optimizing your content so it can be found and recommended by Google. To do this, I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to use keysearch.co, which is this amazing paid SEO tool. It's super easy to use, extremely useful, and will definitely help you in building traffic to your blog. In this video, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that using key search to find your keywords, to figure out what people are searching for, how difficult the competition is, what keywords to choose, and then how to go about SEO optimizing your content so that it will be found by Google. And afterwards, you can actually use it to track the keywords that you're using to see which of your blog posts are ranking in Google and which aren't. So it will tell you what position in Google these blog posts are ranking, whether it's on the first page and number five or number six, or whether it's position 100 and isn't really ranking at all. If you guys are new to my channel, hi, my name is Janet and this is Social Media Growth Hacks, a new channel I've just set up to help you grow your social media and make some money along the way. So if you would like to watch more videos like this, do be sure to hit the subscribe button below. Okay, so you've set up your blog and you've started to write blog posts, but you're not really getting any traffic. So what do you do? What I believe you should concentrate on is SEO optimizing your blog posts, doing keyword research, and doing whatever you can to make Google recognize your blog and start recommending your content. And here's exactly how to do that. What exactly is SEO optimization? SEO stands for search engine optimization, which essentially means you're writing your blog post and editing your blog post to ensure that Google, the world's largest search engine, is able to find your blog post, work out what your blog post is about, and who they should show this blog post to. So depending on what people are searching for in Google, should they show your blog post or not. If your blog post is search engine optimized and has all the right keywords and has all the right indicators telling Google what it's about and who it's for, you're more likely for your blog post to rank high on Google, for people to find it when they're searching for things and to click through and read your blog. This is the number one method to get traffic to your blog when you're just starting out. For example, if you go to Thailand and you attend the full moon party in Koh Phangan, you return home and you write a blog post about it, and you simply title your blog post The World's Craziest Party, you upload your images as they are, like JPEG 1, JPEG 2, JPEG 3, you do not rename them, and you just write your own personal account of how crazy the party was. Sure, if you share that post on Facebook or even Instagram, people are probably going to click through because it says world's craziest party, but you're not really sending the true indicators to Google to let them know what your post is about. So when people are searching for a full moon party in Thailand, it's not very likely that your post will come up in the first few pages of Google as Google doesn't really know what your post is about and who they should show it to. To change this, you're going to need to follow a few simple steps of which I'm going to go into now. So you're actually going to use keysearch.co and do your keyword research ever before you start writing your blog post because you want to know what the correct topic to write about it is, what people are searching for, and how stiff the competition is for that exact topic. If you really want to write about the full moon party in Thailand, you're going to type that into the search bar in Key Search, so full moon party Thailand, and you're going to see how many people are searching for it and how difficult the competition is. Now, for a keyword like that, it does seem like it would be quite popular. So what you're going to want to do is think of a long tail keyword. That is a longer version of the original keyword. You still have the original keyword in it, but it's just a bit longer and it means that you have a better chance of ranking for a less searched for term. For example, full moon party Thailand for beginners, or is the full moon party safe, or full moon party in 2020, or full moon party in Phuket, a different island, or half moon party, which is another party that happens about, I think, one or two weeks before the full moon party, and it's still almost as big, it's pretty big, a lot of people go to it, and that's definitely one that you could search for and try and rank for instead. Okay, I'm actually going to share my screen with you guys now as I've got key search right up here on my screen and I want to show you guys exactly how to use it when doing your keyword research for your blog posts. So I'm going to type in full moon party Thailand and then click search on the right hand side. And then key search is going to tell me that it's actually quite difficult to rank for this. 22,200 people are searching for it, but the score is 53. And if it's in the red, it means it's actually quite difficult for rank to rank for. So you've got some pretty famous bloggers like the Brond 
like the Blonde Abroad already ranking and some websites that are niche websites um, with a lot of Thailand content. So for that exact key term, you might find it quite difficult to rank for. On the right hand side, Key Search is going to offer you some related terms and these are sort of long tail keywords that you might have a better chance of ranking for. So you can click the check box to see how difficult these terms are to rank for. So you can see Half Moon Party Thailand, a thousand people are searching for it and the score is 32. It's in the green which means actually you probably have a pretty good chance of ranking for that search term. So type it into the search bar at the top, let it load and then you're going to see all of the websites that currently rank for this search term. You can also search for other long tail keywords such as Full Moon Party Thailand 2020 or Is the Full Moon Party Safe? Full Moon Party Thailand 2021. You can play around with a lot of different search terms until you find one that is in the green and is a topic that you would like to write about. Be sure to search for the topic in Key Search search bar to make sure people are actually searching for that term. For example, best books to read during lockdown does seem like a good idea, but if you type it into key search, it seems that no one is actually searching for this, so it might not be the best idea of an article to write about. On the other hand, a lot of people are searching for masks right now, so you can play around with the different long tail keywords such as make your own mask or how to make your own mask or customize your own face mask until you find one that is in the green, which means that you have a chance of ranking for this search term. When deciding if you think you're going to be able to compete with the other websites, you're going to want to check out their domain authority, their M ranking, their authority, how many links they have, how many link backs they have, and whether they include the keywords in the title, the description, and their URL. So for how to make a mask at home, most of the top websites don't actually include it in their title, their description, or their URL, which means you probably have a pretty good chance for ranking for this keyword. So once you've done your keyword research and you've picked your main topic with the help of Key Search, it's now time to start writing your blog post. So you're going to open up the admin section of your blog, hopefully your WordPress blog, as WordPress is definitely the easiest platform to use. And I've actually got a whole video telling you exactly how to set up a WordPress blog, which you can find right here. I'm going to share my screen with you again so you can see exactly what I do when I'm SEO optimizing my blog post and adding in my keywords and exactly what you should be doing as well. I've opened up my how to grow your Instagram following in 2020 blog post right here. The keyword I'm going for is how to grow your Instagram. So I'm including that in the title, in the URL, and then I'm including it, oh I haven't, I need to change that, <laughs> how to grow your Instagram in the first paragraph. So edit that, how to grow your Instagram. And you're gonna to want to include it at least once or twice throughout your article. As well as putting the keywords or a variation of the keyword phrase, throughout the article, you're also going to want to include it in one or two of your headings and then you're going to scroll down to the bottom to the Yoast SEO section. You're going to type in your focus keyword. You're going to make sure it's in the SEO title, in the slug, in the meta description and then you're going to check for all the little green lights below to make sure that your content is properly SEO optimized. So Yoast SEO is going to tell you the problems with your blog post. So I haven't included any internal links, I haven't included any outbound links, and I haven't used it in enough of my subheadings. I also haven't used the keyword as the alt description in my photos, so I need to go back and edit that now. I'm just going to click into one of the images, and then I'm going to edit the alt text to include the keyword. Then I'm going to click down through some of the other images, and I'm going to include the same keyword or another variation of the keyword just so that I can satisfy the Yoast SEO. Okay, so I need to find an internal link to link to. So I'm going to go to my website. I'm going to find another post about Instagram. Click on that. Copy the URL. And then I'm going to paste that into my blog post so I finally have an internal link linking to another relevant blog post. I'm going to keep fixing things that Yoast SEO tells me to work on, such as my title isn't long enough or I don't have any outbound links, until most of the little traffic lights are green within Yoast SEO. Once I'm satisfied, I'm going to publish my blog post and hopefully wait for it to rank on Google. Publish your blog post. It's time to go back to Key Search and click Rank Tracking. You are going to add your new website to one of the URLs that you're tracking. So add domain, type in your website domain, submit, and then you're going to start copy and pasting in the keywords that you want to track. For me, it's how to grow on Instagram. How much does a YouTuber really make? How to edit videos in iMovie. So I'm going to paste in all the different keywords that I want to track. Then I'm going to click the refresh button and I'm going to keep doing this probably every day or every week until I can hopefully see that my keywords are starting to rank in Google. 
Now my new website is brand new, so nothing is ranking right now. But if I go to one of my other websites, such as Eating Bali, a food blog devoted to food and restaurants in Bali, you will see here which articles are ranking and which aren't. Okay guys, that's pretty much it for the basics of your SEO optimization and using Key Search as a keyword tool for finding the right topics and keywords to rank your articles on Google. I hope you found this tutorial useful and that you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, I would love if you would consider hitting the subscribe button below as I plan to make lots more videos like this on how to grow your blog, how to grow your social media and hopefully make some money along the way. Thanks for watching and let's grow our social media together.